talk about the cleansing gel really quickly as this is the one that I have latched onto and have re-upped on time and time again. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. I wanna say what's up to all of my subbies and I wanna say uh, what's going on to all of my newbies. And just in case you don't know what a newbie is, I'm about to tell you. A newbie be anybody checking me out, maybe for the first time, maybe for the second, maybe for the 20th. We don't even count around here. We really don't. I just want all of my subbies and all of my newbies to come on in, come on in, come on on in okay so for today today we're going to talk a little bit about skin care around here now for all of those who are already initiated you know that i did i think it was my morning no nighttime routine that's what it was you know there were certain products in my regimen that i use daily and for those who are keeping up with current events you guys know that I recently did a video on my moisturizing cream, the cream that I just got recently and absolutely positively fell in love with, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I just recently added that to my arsenal, but I've been remiss in giving you all the full details as far as my skin care regimen. And I was reminded last night when I got a little visitor on my forehead, yes, this forehead. It was when I was looking and tending to my little visitor, my little bumpity bump, that I realized, hey, I need to share this part of my regimen as well. As I have a cleanser that I use just for this occasion. It seems to be, you know, very helpful in me fighting and combating and mitigating the pimpleization of my skin. Now you guys know that I normally use a more Pacific, you know, that their face wash on my skin. I didn't formally introduce you to this particular product. We can get into that a little later. Right now, I want to spotlight what I used last night and my go-to when my skin gets a little hectic. And I started out using this a while back, but I've always kept it in rotation because of just that, because it, it calms down my skin when it is irritated or when I feel a bumpity bump coming on. And that is none other than the Bosha Purifying Cleansing Gel. Now, as I said, I am not new to the Bosha Rodeo, okay? I have used this before I even got into a more Pacific. I had used this for a, a long while and it's always been good to my skin. Now, just to give you guys a background, my skin is pretty normal. I'm not an oily girl. I'm not too much of a dry girl, but I do get dry patches. I get dry patches somewhere around my temples. So I don't have to do too much as far as my skincare, which is why I do like the Bosha because especially in the summertime when you get really hot and sweaty and you can break out around those particular hot months, this particular cleansing gel has always been good for me or good to my skin. Now, with that being said, even though I'm not an oily or necessarily a dry girl, I do have sensitive skin. I would say I have sensitive skin. As I talked about in my, my Tatcha moisturizing video, I can't just throw anything on my face because I will break out. I will. It's like my skin is the, the canary in the coal mine, so to speak, and it can pick up on different things. So with that being said, when I find something good to put on my skin and it doesn't flare up anything, honey, it's a winner in my book. So just in case you're not familiar, Bosha is a well-known skincare company that provides cleansers and moisturizers and other types of skin care treatments. And all of them are naturally derived from plants. So again, we have another plant based company, a plant-based focused company as far as skin care. 
They pride themselves on providing skin care that is for sensitive skin. And again, along with its cleansers, it has a wide array of products, including moisturizers and other skin treatments. But we're gonna talk about the cleansing gel really quickly, as this is the one that I have latched onto and have re-upped on time and time again. The Purifying Cleansing Gel is a gentle sulfate-free cleanser derived from nourishing amino acids. It purifies the skin by removing dirt and makeup without drying the skin. And I can say that it's pretty effective in doing both as far as removing the dirt. Again, once I get a breakout or something like that, I'll switch up from my more Pacific and I'll use this for maybe a day or so, or maybe just in that spot. And I'm telling you, it basically calms that spot down and it helps me to more quickly address that, that particular issue. More specifically, hydrangea leaf, which helps to refine and minimize the appearance of pores, botanical amino acids, which helps to gently clean the skin by eliminating dirt, oil, and other impurities, as well as the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties of green tea and rosemary leaf extract. These star ingredients comprise the formula of the purifying cleansing gel. So yeah, along with me loving the actual gel, I'm loving the packaging as well. It's very simple and it comes with a pump, okay? So you're not squeezing it. You don't have to scrape the bottom. You don't have to do all that. It comes with its own pump and it's also very travel friendly in that, okay, so you see how the pump and you're supposed to depress the pump to, to get the product out. Well, it comes with a little clamp that you would put right at the neck of the pump and this prevents it from being depressed and wasting product while you're traveling or whether you throw it in your bag or whatever. This is to keep the product from seeping out. So I thought that was pretty clever as well. I thought that I, I like that because I have traveled with it and I didn't have to worry about anything leaking or it being pumped out by accident. Now the product itself there's no real smell to it. Again, I like to talk about the fragrances and the smells because I know some people have an aversion to it or are very sensitive to it. So with that being said, the Bosha, it's a clear gel and it looks just like a gel. So it's very translucent and it has a very light smell. It reminds me of a lot of the products that are natural like it sort of reminds me of Aveda. Anybody who's familiar with Aveda products, uh, hair products, it's sort of in that vein as far as a light, earthy smell, if you will. So that's what I would liken it to as far as the fragrance. It's very light and it dissipates after you use it. So there's nothing heavy. There's no harsh fragrances involved. It's basically left up to the plants, according to their website. It's left up to the plants to do all the work. There's not a lot of additional fuss to it. And you don't need a lot, okay? You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way and it foams up pretty well. And you get that little foaming action. You rinse off your face, you put on your moisturizer and you are good to go. So for those who keep up with such things, officially it is listed as fragrance free. But wait, there's more. It's also gluten free, vegan, cruelty-free, and the packaging is recyclable. Mm -hmm. They took care of that too. So again, I really do like this cleanser and they have different variations of this. In fact, they have a whole list, like I said, they have a lot of products as far as to clean your skin, to moisturize your skin, to degunk your pores. Honey, whatever you are looking for, they have something that can possibly address your issues. So again, you know how we we already got our hair care regimen together, all the arsenal. And I told you we're trying to we doing everything from the rooter to the tuta, meaning the top of our heads and the sole of our feet. Yes, I said feet. 
to get everything tight and right and be our best for this year and beyond. So skincare, we're not skimping out on skincare. And I figure I'd come in here and let you guys know just what else I got going on in my arsenal as far as my face and how I take care of it. So if you're looking for something and haven't found it yet, as far as something that can cleanse your skin, but it doesn't feel drying, then you may want to check this out. And if you're looking for something that's more on the natural end and not want to deal with a whole bunch of harsh chemicals, again, this may be something you want to look into. Now, of course, suffice it to say, everyone's skin is different. Just because it works on me, it may not work for you. Again, my skin is pretty normally balanced, but I do get breakouts. You know, every now and again, something will literally pop up. So keep that in mind. And just like with your hair, and we always talk about you got to know your hair. The same goes for your skin. Know your skin. What triggers it breaking it out? Is it dry? Is it oily? Is it sensitive to certain things and certain products? These things are good to know as it will help you hone and put together the best skincare regimen for you. But in the meantime, like I said, if you're looking for something, just, just give it a little perusal, give it a little looky-loo. And I just want to put it out there. I am not sponsored. No one sent me anything. I bought this beautiful green bottle from Bosha with my own coins, okay? So this is not sponsored. You know how we like to share around here. We share about hair care and perfumes and creams and we getting into other stuff. We're gonna be sharing a whole lot more. So this is also on the list. Just in case you're looking for something that can help your skin in whatever stage it's in, because this is, it's made for all skin types, then you may wanna look into Bosha Skin care. Now they used to sell it at Sephora, but I haven't seen it on its website and I don't think they sell it in the stores anymore. So you can check it out on their actual website, which is Bosha, B-O-S-C-I-A, Bosha.com. And for all those who already use it and y'all already in the Bosha bandwagon, then let me know what you use and what you like and how you like it and all that good stuff. And if you didn't like it, let me know that too. It's always good to share because sharing is caring. At least that's what we like to say around these parts. So I done jibber jabbered long enough. I done bumped my gums and everything like that. So we are going to, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap this up, tie it up in a bow and get up out of here. What do you think? I think we should. And that's what we're about to do. So that wasn't too bad, right? We were in and out, okay? I want to thank you so much for dialing in and showing up. I really do appreciate it. I really do. I really do. And yeah, we'll be back talking about some more stuff. I would love for you guys to come on back so we can talk about some more stuff. So you got to come back for that so you already know. It's going to be the same Dolce dial. It's going to be the same Dolce channel. So you come on back. All right.